Hey guys, what's up? It's me. <laughs> I'm back to bring you another video, and this is another job video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like these videos. <clears throat> I don't get a chance to do too many of them, but I think they're quite interesting. I like to share them with you in case you do know about it or don't. It's always, you know, good to know or to refresh your memory. So this video is titled, Can My Boss Do That? It's a series of questions whether people weren't sure if their boss could really legally do what they do and, you know, you have an expert to answer the questions. Okay, so I'm actually going to read it word for word what they're telling you. It's 10 questions and um, I'm going to actually also post a link below so you can read it yourself if you want to. But I'm going to go word for word what they say so there's nothing that's missed about what I'm talking about, okay? And some of them kind of hit home and some of them I already knew about and some I just wasn't sure about because... I just didn't know and it was good to know that okay so here we go okay can my boss do that by Allison Green if you've ever witnessed your boss doing something that seems unfair to you or a co-worker you might have wondered can they really do that they don't teach workplace law in school and they should y'all and so collectively Americans tend to lack understanding about what employers can and can't do where employees are concerned. So here are some questions you might wonder about. Okay, like I said, there's ten. Okay, number one, my boss told my coworkers what my salary is. Can she or he do that? Answer, yes. No law requires that your salary information be confidential. And your employer is allowed to share it with others if she wishes, he or she. In fact, some companies share everyone's salary as a matter of course, and then they put in parentheses. And some people argue that doing so helps combat pay discrimination. You guys, I didn't know that they could really tell people what you make, but I, I'm not really surprised by it. I, I, I didn't know it was, that it was legal or not. Anybody know that y'all bosses do that? Let me know. That's that's kind of an interesting one. Okay, number two. Can my boss tell me that I can't discuss my salary with my co-workers? Answer, no. Despite the fact that many employers have policies that attempt to ban these discussions, the National Labor Relations Act makes it illegal for employers to prohibit employees from discussing wages among themselves. You guys... That's a that's a big one that a lot of companies, especially if you make different money than everybody else, they'll tell you don't discuss it. And they really don't want you to because they don't want people to get upset, get mad, have conflict and stuff. And while I understand that, um, I didn't know that they really can't tell you that. So the fact that they, can, that they can't tell you will make very interesting <laughs> conversation if you do do it well. The labor law says I can't. I can't. That'd be interesting. But any of y'all had any experience with that, let me know. I've had that too. Bosses say don't tell nobody. And, and, you know, sometimes you tell a few people and they get sad or whatever. But I don't know about that one. They say you can't. But I think it makes it easier for you not to tell people because situations like that can happen. Conflict and people get upset and angry and they have to try and fix stuff that they shouldn't have to fix. Okay, number three. My boss said that I can't take the day I requested off work. Even though I have enough vacation time stored up to do it, can he or she do that? Answer, yes. While your vacation time is part of your benefits package, your employer retains the right to approve or deny specific leave requests. That's because managers sometimes need to deny time off if it would leave your department short staff or cause problems during an especially busy time. And yeah, I knew that. That might not be fair to some people, but I know that they can do that for the reason that they said. Number four, my manager told me I have to stop teasing a co-worker about politics. Does that violate my right to free speech? And the answer they have is the First Amendment prevents the government from restricting your speech. But private employers are still free to regulate employers, I'm sorry, employees' speech. One important exception to this is that employers cannot interfere with employees who are discussing wages or working conditions with their coworkers, as in number two above. So, um, they're saying the government can do it, but employers can't. Okay. I never knew that one way or the other. That's interesting. Okay, number five. Can my boss deduct money from my paycheck for doing a bad job? 
Answer, no. Your employer cannot dock your salary for poor performance. Your employer agreed to pay you a certain salary when you accepted the job and that wage cannot be changed ret retroactively as punishment or for any other reason. However, your employer can change your pay going forward after warning you of the change and giving you a chance to decline to do the work at the new at the new wage. Okay, I kind of do that. Number six, can my boss give me a bad <laughs> reference when I'm looking for a job? Answer, it's legal for an employer to give a negative reference as long as it's factually accurate. <laughs> It's true that some companies, in an effort to avoid the headache of nuisance lawsuits, have implemented policies that they will only confirm dates of employment and title. As a result, many people have come to believe that it's actually illegal to give a bad reference. But corporate policies aren't the law and often aren't even followed by the companies that have them. I kind of knew that that wasn't... Uh, it wasn't illegal to do that. But they have to be true if they give you a bad reference. So, And that's what they're saying. Sometimes they just give you the dates and the titles. So I kind of knew that too. Alright, number seven. My boss changed my job description and says that I have to do work that's dramatically different from what I was hired to do. Is that allowed? Answer. Your employer can change your job description at any time or direct you to do work other than what you were hired for. The only time this wouldn't be true is if you had a contract that spelled out the work you were signing on for. But most workers in the U.S. okay, don't have contracts and instead are subject to quote unquote at will employment. This allows your employer to change the terms of your employment at any time. And that's kind of unfair but I knew that too. Number eight, can my manager bully me, single me out for poor treatment, yell at me, or otherwise mistreat me? Answer, bullying, pay attention y'all, bullying or being a jerk is bad management, but it is not illegal. However, if your manager is treating you differently because of your race, sex, religion, or another protected class, then you do have legal protection. That would violate federal anti-discrimination laws. But if your manager is just a jerk because he or she doesn't like you or is a hostile person generally, that's not against the law. You guys, I'm sorry. Just, okay. I don't agree with that. I believe that that should be illegal. I don't think that... Now they, now they got all these bullying laws for internet and, and, and schools and stuff. So, if that's the case, then why can they bully you at your job? I don't feel that's fair. I don't feel like people should treat you and put you in a bad, bad situation and make things hostile. And that's not illegal. That's the reason why a lot of people leave and, and quit their jobs. And that should be illegal to do. And if people were, if that was illegal, I think it would make it a lot easier for people to keep their jobs and be able to hold their ground. That's just my personal feeling. I don't believe, I don't believe that, that, that that's fair. And that should be illegal. But that's my personal opinion. Okay, number nine. I complained to Human Resources about my boss and asked them to keep it confidential, but they told my boss, is that legal? Again, pay attention. Answer, yes. HR isn't obligated to keep what you tell them confidential, even if you request their discretion. HR staffers aren't doctors or priests, and you shouldn't assume confidentiality when talking to them. If, you, if they hear information that they decide needs to be shared, or used to address a problem, their job obligates them to do that. I understand that, but sometimes if certain situations are really bad, you really want to be confidential, that might that can cause you to have conflict of leaving your job or having more problems with your boss. So that's a half and half thing for me. Like I said, some of these are very interesting. Okay, last question. Number 10. I gave two weeks notice at work. It's not funny, y'all. I'm sorry, it's just interesting. I gave two weeks notice at work, and my boss told me to just leave now. Do they still have to pay me for those two weeks? Answer, a smart employer would still pay you for those two weeks, since otherwise they're signaling, sig signaling to other employees that they too will lose money if they give notice rather than quitting on the spot. But that's up to your employer. No law requires them 
to pay you for time you didn't work even though you want to work out those final two weeks. And then let's talk about Allison Green being a uh, Ask a Manager blog and she's a co-author of a book and she's also been um, former chief of staff to non-profit organizations. That's the person who wrote this thing. So she, apparently she, knows, she got all the answers for these questions. That's who it's written by. So you guys, that's my video. Can my boss do that? Um, I th again, I thought it was very interesting and I want to share this with you. Some of the stuff I did know, some of the stuff I did know, which I, I already went over. Let me know what you think about that. Have you ever went through any of these? Did you not know that some of these were really uh, uh, illegal or legal? Let me know what you think, guys, okay? All right, so that's it, everybody. Um, I hope you have a good day, good night, um, depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. And I hope to see you in the next video. Alright, everybody. Until next time, everybody. Take care. <laughs> Bye.